mellow height, 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 mellow height. Do 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 do. Hello, my needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Album review, Mellow Hype, the reissued version of Black and White. I've been getting a lot of requests for this thing, and I've been kind of hesitant to do it. And the reason why is it's an odd future related rap project. And not that I was afraid of the music or, or anything like that, but the last odd future release I reviewed... Tyler the Creator's Goblin, left a pretty nasty taste in my mouth. And it's not really just because I didn't like the album from this California rap outfit, but so many people on the internet just dick ride, convincing themselves that there's no possible way anybody in this crew could do anything wrong or do anything that is short of amazing. I mean, if you want to be a fanboy, that's your choice. But this review is more for people who are genuinely interested in what Odd Future may have to offer, even though they've kind of hit a peak of popularity which really slumped after Goblin came out. I don't think these guys are going anywhere, and there's no reason they can't make music I like more in the future. Even though Tyler, the creator, has kind of been the flagship artist of this group, not every person in Odd Future sounds like him, or Earl. Look at Frank Ocean, whose new LP I thought was okay, and he's definitely more of the, the R&B type. Or even Mellow Hype, with this new reissue of Black and White. This thing features Haji Beats as the main MC and Left Brain producing the beats, jumping on the mic on occasion. And this thing was dropped originally last year, during Halloween, but now this kind of revamped version has some tracks taken off and a few added on. I am kind of sad to see tracks like Strip Club, which was a sillier track, or even Loco, which, which had some great rhymes on there, sort of get kicked off this LP. But still, Black and White is pretty representative of what you can expect from Mellow Hype and what they have to offer. The first thing that hit me on this album, I'm sure it's going to hit you on this album, is just how young Haji Beats sounds. He is a skinny guy, and he sounds like a skinny guy. He's got a really thin, thin voice. But not necessarily in a bad way. I kind of think he sounds like a, a way less desperate and obnoxious childish Gambino. He may not have as much dizzying wordplay as Earl does, and his voice may not be as uh, unmistakable as Tyler's, but I think he's got something a little more accessible going on. He's not dark and, and, and annoyingly angsty to the point where you can't relate to him. And he's not desperately seeking to piss everybody off with an earshot. Plus, he doesn't rap about all that, that psycho rape crap that, that so many people are, are kind of up in arms over. This thing is pretty much weed raps, girl raps, brag raps, gun raps. It's not too far from what you might hear on the radio subject matter wise. But it's not like Haji's approach to these more familiar subject matters is dumbed down. And Mellow Hype as a unit can really kind of put a song together when they're trying. For me, there are three tracks on here. Three. That are fantastic standouts that I would love to see more of from Mellow Hype. And the first track that hit me was Brain featuring Domo Genesis. And what attracted me so much about that track first is just the beat just has these these heavy bass, just, just low-end kicks, this squeaky little synth line, and uh, when it really got sexy is when this piano drone kind of just melted into the track like blunt smoke, filling the, filling the room, filling the air of the track. Haji and Domo have, have good verses on that track, but I think the, the, the real pillar of this album, a track I was kind of on the fence with, but the more I heard it, the more I liked it, 64. The synths and the drums just sound really dark and Halloween-y. It's closer to what you'd stereotype Odd Future to sound like, 
but I really love the, the, the lyrics that Haji lays into this track. Kind of rapping about his atheism on the first line with, I never trust faith with my trust funds. He manages to, to reference wrestling in the midst of rapping about getting someone to overdose on pills, references a ton of things, among them chicken of the sea tuna. And as far as I know, one of the few rappers out there to ever use the word rhetorician in his song, in the hook. Something for the philosophy fans out there. The great beats and personality continue on Loaded, which is pretty much about breaking some bricks of weed down and, and, and packaging them up and then moving them on the street. And, uh, you know, the, the, as, as good as the track sounds, it's really chill. I like Mike G's verse on that. I love his low voice when he comes in on the hook. But I'm not sure how far into Haji's fantasy world I'm willing to go. I mean, you know, I'm tough, I'm a drug dealer now, I shoot cops all the time. Outside of those tracks, for me, everything else is, is either alright or, or not so alright. And that's really where it kind of becomes the usual from Odd Future for me. Because it, it just kind of feels like amateur hour on a lot of these songs. You could take a track like I Got a Gun. I see it as a joke, especially with the, the cartoon vocals coming in on the hook going, I got a gun, you better run. To me, when this album gets, gets really bad is when Mellow Hype is actually trying to be good. Like on Dead Deputy, where you have a, a pretty good flow from Haji, sounds like he's going hard, sounds like he's enthusiastic, but I can't even tell what the hell he's saying because he's swallowed up by this terrible and repetitive sample. Just the beat engulfs the entire track, and it's not even that interesting of a beat. And as funny as I think the track Fuck the Police can be, I don't think Tyler and, and especially Left Brain are wrapping up to Haji's level on that track. It's funny to hear Tyler kind of argue with this imaginary cop, but Left Brain's verse is just such a pothole. And then on the very last song, Left Brain jumps on the mic again and just has this really amateur, clumsy flow. And the first lines he throws out there are about rocking his hat backwards and dipping his fried chicken into barbecue sauce. The beat on the last track is fun, but listening to Left Brain Rap is not. As an MC, Haji is pretty good, and some of the beats on this thing are some of the best that I've heard from Odd Future so far. But this thing still suffers from being pretty inconsistent and all over the place. I liked it. I'm excited to see what Mellow Hype does in the future, especially if there are more tracks like 64 coming on the horizon. But if there's also going to be a bunch of songs like I Got a Gun, then, you know, inconsistency is still going to ruin whatever these guys put out. But what can you expect from Odd Future? Their popularity, their fame has basically been built on the single combined with a music video. Can we really expect these guys, as long as they're riding the odd future wave, to really put a solid album together, one solid track after another? Or are we just going to get a string of releases where, get a single, hot music video, link them together, put the album out, single's good, some other tracks are okay, but there's a bunch of bruised fruit on this thing. I'm feeling a light to decent six on this. I thought it was likable. It was fine. A nice handful of tracks I could take away, enjoy a lot. Some bad spots, but decent ones too to kind of even out the playing field. What do you think of this LP? Love it, hate it, why? What should I review next? Thank you for watching my needle drops. Anthony Fantano, the mellowest music nerd.